It was very difficult transferring from, you know, like an active duty service member into the role of a college student. Like I went from July of 2012, leading 17 Marines to sitting in a classroom in August and being talked to by teachers and TAs that were my age or very close to it. It was uh, pretty difficult. What's unique about Logan is that he, he got right out of the military and came directly to school. There was no decompression time. He got out and then he went right to school just about a month and a half to two months later. And I think he gets it because when he moved here, you know, he was, he was from the local area but not from Iowa City. He didn't know a lot of people either and he saw kind of the importance of having a focal point or an epicenter for activity for folks to come by here and say, hey, what's going on tonight? Or hey, I need help with this stats homework. Does anybody know anything about this professor? So uh, guys like Logan putting them in leadership positions, it's good because they kind of cultivate that, that sense of mentality. We try to create a strong base for like a veteran community here so we kind of have someone to relate to. We all talk a little bit differently than, you know, tr your traditional 18, 19 year old student. Here, you know, we kind of bring people into the fold right away and they can be normal and feel like they're a part of a group and not have to find their own friend bases, which is nice. You know, there's a lot of things I think just having an education and, I don't know, expanding your kind of narrow view that you got while you were in the military is going to help. It definitely opened my eyes to a lot of uh, subjects that I really wouldn't have paid attention to when I was in the military. Being a sociology degree, it makes you think about why people do things and how and kind of the way the world spins a little bit.